Hello and welcome. My name is Ingus and you are watching the last Twisted League video that I will be making. Unless there's another one, of course. But for this video, it's, it's going to be a little bit different than the normal progress videos that I have been making for this series so far. Because, well, for one... Well, that's such a cool... What's it, what is that hood? Is it the hood of darkness? <laughs> well, if you haven't noticed already, uh, this is the first time I've uploaded in about a month, which is pretty crazy because I generally try to do at least once a week, if that, you know, sometimes more than that. And if I decided to just do a normal progress video, it would take way too long because I just have so many clips. So I'm gonna be sharing my overall experience with the Twisted League, what I liked and what I think Jagex can improve on for the next league. Now, the first thing I really just loved about the Twisted League is that I just learned so much about the game. There was so much that I just had never tried before, so much content such as tick manipulation or doing two tick willows, you know, three ticking hunter. That was completely new for me. I'd never done it before the Twisted League. As well as things like prayer flicking too. A lot of these were like advanced mechanics that I just uh, had never tried before. Like I knew about them, but I just didn't have any uh, any drive to, to really do that. Along with most of you, I'm sure, I really was the type of player that uh, just enjoyed AFKing and uh, taking things slow and just relaxing. But because I made it a goal of mine to go for the Dragon Cup very early on in the league, and I, I wanted to follow through with my commitment to that goal, uh, it, it forced me to learn a lot of these methods. And the, and the Twisted League has really sparked uh, that passion that I once had, you know, back in the day. I'm not sure if you, many of you know this, but during the whole like EOC thing, like I was working on a max account and actually, I actually maxed this account after EOC. So there was a time where I cared about grinding skills to the maximum level, but uh, it, I kind of lost it, I guess, after I maxed my account, had to restart with old school RuneScape. So overall, I feel like I've just gotten better at the game in general from playing Twisted League which I was very surprised about. The next thing that I really just loved about the Twisted League was the ability to try new content that I've never done before. Not just like the mechanics and the three ticking and whatnot, but the actual content. Like I've never killed Seracnus. I've never done Alchemical Hydra. I don't even have the Slayer level on my main account, sadly. I absolutely love doing the Clue Scrolls. That was probably the most fun I ever had. And actually, it, towards the end of this video, you'll see I have a lot of Clue Scrolls that I open. And <laughs> let me just tell you, my luck is actually crazy on the Twisted League for, for Clue Scroll. Just, you'll just have to watch. <laughs> and this sort of brings me to the third thing that I loved about the Twisted League. And that was, I just had a blast playing the game mode in general. It was really fun to compete against people, especially since I was going for the Dragon Tier. There's this constant pressure to keep going as hard as you can. And, and sometimes, I won't lie, like sometimes that kind of got to be too much and I felt like I was falling behind and just wasn't fun. But then other times when I would catch up, I would get like a big pointer, like a 250 pointer, or 500 pointer task, and I would, you know, make my way back into the Dragon Tier. It just revitalized that, that thirst, that competition. And another thing I was kind of surprised about was just meeting all of you guys. I met so many people playing the league just as hard as I was, or even they're playing casual, but they're still having a blast. And just overall, it was just an, it was a positive experience, I think, for the whole community. The Twisted League truly was the friends we made along the way. That being said, I do think that there were a few things that Jagex could improve for the next league because these things really dampened some of my experiences for the Twisted League. The first one is that it was way too long. I don't know uh, if anyone else agrees with me, but at first, uh, you know, no one really thought about the two months, but once you get one month in, and you're, you're still within the rune and the dragon rank, and you're like, well, damn, I just spent 10 days of playtime, which equates to 240 hours. I spent 240 hours this past month on Twisted League, and then you still have another month <laughs> to, keep, <laughs> to keep up that pace. I understand this is the first league, and that Jagex is, you know, basically is coming up with new ideas and ways to play the game, but I did feel like two months was a little... A little excessive and towards the the second month i wasn't having as much fun as the first month the first month was great the whole month it was 
an absolute blast. But I think a, a lot of people might agree with me that the second month, if, if you were competing seriously, or even if you started late, like it just wasn't as fun as the first month. So I think if the, the leak had just been cut off at the first month, I mean, some people might have not gotten to do the content that they wanted, but it's like when you go to a party, you don't want to stay for the cleanup. You want to go there and leave at the high point of the party. That way your memory of the party is, is just that much better. If you're staying there till after, it, you kind of just wait, you know, the party dies down and you're cleaning up, you're helping the host clean up. Like it's, it's not quite the same. So I would say find a way to make it uh, a little bit shorter or maybe make it down to a month long or even maybe even a couple weeks like dead man mode like that would that would be perfect if there was a way to do that then the majority of people playing would have an overall amazing experience throughout the entirety of the league instead of the second month or so just turning into kind of a, a grind fest now this is totally my opinion so i don't expect everyone to agree with me on this maybe you really enjoyed that there's two months of the twisted league so you could really just do all the content that you really wanted so, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you think it would be a good idea to short. The other thing that I think could really be improved upon in the next league is, is that in the Twisted League, the relics felt just a, a little unbalanced. I felt like I, because I wanted to go for the dragons here, I had to pick certain relics that uh, if I was just playing for pure fun, I would not have chosen. I would have chosen maybe... Um, Maybe the Xerix Focus at, for a tier 5, where your attacks are a little bit faster. That would have been more fun for me than just getting double XP all around. I mean, there are probably plenty of people who had that relic and still made the Dragon tier, but the amount of time they played was probably a little bit more than me. So, and, and, and really, I was going as hard as I possibly could. So I really needed the best advantage I could get in order to make the Dragon tier. And there were a lot of relics that were pretty interesting to me, but... There is no way I was going to pick them, like the uh, the Xerix Resilience perk that allows you to take 50% less damage from all monsters, and your prayers restore 1 point for every 3.6 seconds, like, that would have been so cool to try out while you're bossing, but there's just no point to taking it, because it doesn't really increase your points overall, so. Some of the perks that I think were really well done or well balanced were things like the the Hardcore Harvester perk. You know, you get triple resources, which could, in fact, help you get more points but not directly i feel like the xp was just so cheap and it wasn't creative or anything so I, I would really like to see more things like hardcore harvester or or even unnatural selection like being able to pick your own slayer task that's a great example of a perk because it indirectly helps you get slayer xp better you don't have to do the bad tasks you can do whichever you want and it makes the the gameplay very interesting as well i really like some of the perspectives that jagex has already thought of in the live streams where they said that the relics should help you get points no matter what you pick the third suggestion i would say is to find some way to prevent things like screen sharing programs or because I know it's very hard to prevent those things, but it felt like the top page of the high scores was just rigged. Like you couldn't actually compete if you're just a single person. I really like the way that Dead Man Mode has time restrictions for the gameplay. So if you wanted to play extra, like if you have like 18 hours for a day to, to go hard at Dead Man Mode or, or Leagues, after like a certain amount of time, so say like six hours or eight hours, you either go back to normal XP rates or there's just some way that kind of makes it not quite as powerful as just continuing to play nonstop. And it, the other plus side of that is that if you start the league late, you still have time to catch up to everyone else and you can still compete even if you're late. So I think one of those solutions would work very well. Now, before we wrap this video up, I want to show some insane clue luck that I had and it's all live commentary. So enjoy. Oh, dude. I've done about 10, I've done nine masters and I've gotten two of the rarest items from them. Well, that's not worth a lot, but it's rare. 250 leak points, okay. You've gotta be joking me. That's a mega rare. That's a mega rare. Why Jagex? Could have been third age. Yeah. <laughs>
Hell yeah. Oh. I'm calling 25 wine of zombies. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you could get the mimic again. I don't know how rare it is, like 1 in 18. Oh, you got it again. <laughs> GC right. again on the PB. GC. You're gonna get 60 soul runes. Oh my god. I got soul runes, but oh, I got death 600 runes. Death. Uh, are you just gonna leave those teletubs on the floor, mate? Oh yeah, there's no use for them. Absolute disgrace. Yes, sir. Roger, roger. Some out. Some black dragon <laughs> hive. Oh, hell yeah! Perfect. That's me after seven minutes of agility. What the is that? Is that? Oh my god! What is that? I don't know what that is. The holy trinity of toad flax. Samurai <laughs> boot. What are those scrolls? <laughs> seven hides. The mimic looks like how my chair feels after I've sat on it. For about two hours. <laughs> What's the call on this one? Give me something good. Give me a good call. You've been right so far, so give me a good call. You want call. a good call? Yeah. One dragon battle axe. Look at this garbage. Are you f Ooh. Oh. Hoo -hoo. Hoo -hoo. The hell is he just said there? That's a one piece reference. I guess it means straw hat in Japanese. You absolute weep. <laughs> Master you Clue. Put, you could put that in a video. <laughs> Let the community know that I think you're a weep. Or give at least call the last one. I want you to listen closely. Inside you're going to find a few things. One of them is half a crystal key. <laughs> a loop half. You're going to get a loop half. Congratulations. I got one right here. <laughs> you're going to complete the set. <laughs> Another... Left eye patch. All right, guys, watch how much this aux for. 14 million GP. Behold, this is my master plan for getting more points. I'm going to be fletching a bunch of arrowheads while I do 50 master clues. So it's going to be fun. 50 million fletching XP. My God, we're only halfway there. So guys, I finished the caskets, but... Look at this playtime. I uh, I officially have no life. All right, casket number fifty. Are you that fucking one? kidding me? What is that? Oh Are my you god, fucking... another one. No, dude, you don't understand. God damn it. Forgot about these. All right, mimic number six. Oh, that's a real good. Topic. It's good. Darkness. Three. That's ass. That's, uh, that's really what I need it for. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Not Dude. like that. Oh, God. That's 25 mil right there. Just sitting oh. to be destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> Casket number six. Got the gloves Ooh. of darkness. And some more dragon stuff. That is going to haunt me. <laughs> Uh, mummy's body, step on down. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? Bryce. Okay, we got 40 left. Let's go. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the, that can't be that rare, right? Dragon. Oh, that's, that's not the rare one. It's a one in what, 850. What is going on, bro? Yeah, Wilson, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Mimic! What's that thing? Oh my god! Oh. No fucking way! Are you serious, bro? <laughs> that is <laughs> I got mantas, at least. Jesus Christ. That was only 13 caskets. Oh, you got... So far, so good. Mimic time, number eight? Yeah, number eight. Rewind time. Ah. Uh, well, anyways, we got this Ceridoman God wait, Sword. And we got an, oh wait, and we got the Anguish too. I wasn't, re I didn't record those. Whoops. All right, uh, casket number 71. Now, yep. Uh, 73. Okay, uh, 74. Hit though. 
got to say the word, the magic word. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get any in these 10, like, the last 10. What is that? What is that? <laughs> dude, I can't even react anymore because that's just fucking ridiculous, dude. Filthy. Okay, we're going to keep going. The luck has not run out. Are, are those rare? Oh, they're they're eight. They're one in eight fifty. I mean, they kind they're kind of rare. Give me your blessing, sir. Well, I will take your eight snapdragons and raise it to a third age, uh, sword. Okay, the mimic time, boys. The mimic time. Oh. Oh. Casket number ninety five. What is that? Dragon defender or? It's funny because I already have one. Ta da! <laughs> Casket number 96. 97. Please be a mimic. Please be a mimic. Number 99. <laughs> oh. oh no. <laughs> I'm the lowest of the low. No, you're the lowest of the low. Number 100, are you boys ready? The last You're master ready. casket. Wait. Oh! oh! Yes! Oh! Whoa! We fucking got it, boys! We're getting <laughs> some points today! Last master, ca master casket, the last mimic, number 100. What is that? It's a scroll sack. I actually forgot about this. Hadoo! Do 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 do. Beautiful, so beautiful. We didn't get any third age, but I'm I'm pretty satisfied with that loot. I got all three ornament kits. Did you see that? Yeah, and the dragon defender ornament. Kit. Right, yeah, there's. I got the anguish, the torture, and the tormented. So even though the twisted league went on a little bit longer than I would have preferred, and the relics were not as balanced as they could have been. I still had a ton of fun in the Twisted League, and I hope you guys did too. If you didn't play this league, don't worry. There's gonna be plenty more leagues coming up in the future, as uh, evidenced by the, just the amount of people that played this one and uh, all the overwhelming uh, positive feedback for it. I think um, what I would really like to see in the next league would be some sort of end game thing to do for everyone. It would have been cool if we had to face up against a boss or uh, maybe the whole world turned PvP. Anyways, here is my final playtime. 20 days, 23 hours, and 58 minutes. Just shy below 21 days in 63 days. So that is almost exactly 8 hours a day for 2 months. Good God. Exponential.
riches. I'm going to need a lot of money on my main account in order to afford making the pirate series. Through struggle, one must rise above all challenges. 